what is going on guys is actually here welcome back to another episode of wolves this week today we are going to be discussing the h hotels cup uh, that happened on sunday more transfers and transfer rumors as well i've got a massive rumor um that's uh, suddenly started uh to spread um and we've had pre-season friendly as well against uh, Stoke on Wednesday to talk about as well. To start off with the H Hotels Cup, it ended in disappointment and controversy as well. We played out a nil-nil draw against uh, the hosts VFL Botcham, uh, but sadly lost 5-4 on penalties uh, to them. That meant we went into the third, fourth place playoff against Real Betis. Again, that was a nil-nil draw, but it ended in controversy because it was meant to go to a penalty shootout to see who would come third and who would come fourth. That's usually how third or player playoffs works if it ends in a tie. And there was no penalty shootout. Um, uh, Brush and Runcher Gladbach and VFL Botram just started, uh, all the players started coming on for the for the uh, HL Tales Cup final. So, yeah, it, it was a bit odd. It was a bit odd, really. Um, no penalty shootout involved, so um, a few people uh, just uh, came to the conclusion that uh, third place was shared. Moving on to the pre-season friendly uh, that took place uh, on Wednesday at Stoke. Uh, a nil-nil draw once again. The third one in a row. It wasn't the best game. It, it was more of a game uh, to get minutes on the board, really. Um, it wasn't that much of an entertaining game. There were chances. Um, were chances for both sides. Uh, Rui Patricio definitely impressed with a few uh, key saves as well. Uh, we had some chances uh, of our own as well. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we didn't take them. One hitting the post, which was uh, obviously very unlucky. Game ending nil nil. Pretty disappointed with the performance and the result, but then again, um, it's only pre-season, and it's just the the idea of pre-season. Obviously, it's just warm up, warm up, warming up, and preparing for the new season. It doesn't really matter about the result. Obviously, it kind of does in a pre-season tournament. Obviously, you want to win something before the season. Uh, that's always good, but. At the end of the day, um, pre-season doesn't really matter. Um, it's just uh, warming up and preparing uh, for the new season ahead. Uh, and now moving on uh, to um, a few tr transfer rumours. And obviously um, a few transfers have happened. One of them being Jean Martino, which we got for £5 million. Pounds. Obviously an absolute steal uh, for the quality of player. So another another um, Portuguese to add to our ranks. Uh, I'll come on to another Portuguese that we're linked with uh, uh, at the moment. Um, not really surprising really. But anyway, uh, Jean Martino joining the club um, for £5 million. Pounds. Uh, I would expect to pay really like three or four times that amount really uh, for that kind of player but to get him for five million pounds is an absolute steal really and yeah another quality player um to our squad now uh we've got ruben nevers alongside him as well which i think <laughs> obviously he's gonna tear up the premier league really he, he is gonna be well I i'd say he's He's going to be uh, one of the uh, best young midfielders in the Premier League next season. Um, and alongside Jean Martino, I think they're going to be... They're, they're, they'll link up very well. Um, obviously, with Ruben Neves' passing range and with Jean Martino's passing range as well. It just goes like bread and butter, really. And uh, I think it's an absolutely uh, brilliant brilliant signing and also uh, to complement that as well um, with uh, rumours of um, Barry Douglas leaving to Leeds um, and it was reported that a fee had been agreed between the two clubs um, a dip into the market again uh, and uh, bringing in 
uh, Johnny uh, from Atletico Madrid. Soon after putting pen to paper for Atletico Madrid after signing from Celta Vigo, he was straight off, uh, straight off the Compton um, to uh, meet uh, to meet his teammates, and uh, was on the bench. He didn't feature in the game against Stoke, but he was on the bench uh, for the game against Stoke. Didn't come on, uh, but uh, hopefully um, we will uh, see more of him. Um, as preseason goes on, and uh, as we move on uh, into the Premier League season, uh, two signings made, and um, another Portuguese linked with Wolves again. No surprise, really. Uh, but this this one is quite shocking, really. Uh, we're being linked uh, with former Real Madrid defender Pepe, and the price. Um, being reported um, from Besiktas is £7 million. Now, it's a bit like Jalbertinho signing, really. If we do sign Pepe, it will be a bit of a steal, really. Uh, for the quality of the defender, obviously former Real Madrid um, defender, and to get him for £7 million, that quality of defender uh, for £7 million would be, again, another absolute steal. Um, he is a great defender. He he can um, he, he he can be uh, a bit mischievous at times, and we, we've all seen his uh, uh, theatrical diving. Um, but aside from that, he is a great defender. He is a great defender, uh, and there's no no doubt about that. Yeah, to add him um, to the roster as well would be absolutely great and um we're pretty much turning into a portugal football club now um but that that's great that's great because we're getting uh these these great players along along the, along the way as well so like the likes of ruben evers jabatinho and potentially pepe so so yeah um I guess that kind of is a good thing. Um, cause yeah, to, to add him to the roster would be absolutely incredible and st strengthen our squad even more. Uh, if you did enjoy this, uh, make sure to smash that like button. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in a few days. Um, if any, if any transfer, uh, if any transfer news emerges, which I think could be very likely. <laughs> Um, yeah, until then, goodbye guys!